Hello folks, uh, how should one score 99.3 percentile in quant? Right? So, uh, 99.3 percentile is a fantastic score, it's also a tough score. Right? So, to start with percentile numbers, it's from 98 to 99.3 is a big journey. 99.3 to 99.7 is a big journey. 99.7 to 99.95 is a huge journey or tougher journey. Right? So, the incremental gains are tougher anywhere. So, how, what should one focus if you're, if you're not saying, look, I have to clear section cutoff, but saying, look, I need to score well in quant, then obviously starting point is you have to go beyond the home ground of just arithmetic. And the number two thing to add is algebra. You take arithmetic and algebra, you cover 70% of quant and your route to beyond 99th percentile just opens up. And so, anybody who's, um, who's prepared reasonably well has some practice looking is ambitious and he's saying look i need to crack cat properly crack cat and get 99 percent time you cannot say let me just go take arithmetic and then be done with it you have to add algebra to it no doubt about it right so uh, definition wise what do we call as arithmetic what do we call as algebra not rocket science averages mixtures ratio and proportion percentages simple interest component interest profit and loss time paid distance and races work time pipes and systems all of these come under what is classic um, arithmetic, find some stuff with uh, with simple numbers. Right? Then linear and quadratic equations, polynomials, functions, inequalities, they come under algebra. Right? Uh, even within this linear and quadratic equation, from an exam point of view, is more than half of algebra. You do linear and quadratic equations, you're pretty much halfway there as far as algebra is concerned. And very important. These two topics, arithmetic and geometric progressions, exponents and logarithms, it comes. Uh, kind of gets categorized sometimes here, sometimes there. Some questions are very arithmetic like, some questions are very heavy duty X and Y. But this is a, the scope of what you are thinking about. Probably these two will get covered under both, bo both buckets. You must first cover this completely. Then you should look to add this. With this, you, you, out of 22 questions, typically, typically, not always, typically, you have a shot at aiming for 15 of those questions. Now, within that, there could be two, three that are cranky. You can attempt 12 and you get 11 of them right. You're the north of 99th percentile. Right? So, so, a route to 99th percentile, even without being perfect in this, is available. And it's a, it's a very credible, very viable path. So, anybody who's saying, look, I want to, want to, I'm comfortable with arithmetic, but I want to just jump up, step up and go one more level, then you must add algebra to the, to the mix. Right? So, uh, what, how much does it take to score? What are the percentile ranges? If you get 17, look at last year, if you get 17, 18 questions, 99.9 percentile. Right? So, 99.9 plus percentile is very difficult, very difficult. 99.3, 3, 4 questions, 4, 5 questions less than this. So, 12, 13 questions and you are at the 99.3 range, that is, which is very much achievable if you have arithmetic and algebra in the bag. So, what do we do? What have we got? We've got a, an algebra workshop, which we have uh, scheduled. So, uh, we had an arithmetic workshop, which, which I was very happy with. And I was, I was uh, energized at the end of the day. And so, we did long sessions. Obviously, students did longer sessions than I did. Uh, but uh, it was a lot of, uh, lot of fun. It was properly intense. We are tired at the end of the day, but uh, tired in a very good way. And so, we have decided to do one more for algebra. Uh, this is going to happen over, again, two days. Uh, we are doing slightly more theory. because so I want to cover a little bit of theory slightly differently in order to add one more layer of understanding to algebra. We'll finish off the theory on the Saturday, do about four hours of it, and do a full eight hour plus session on Sunday. So 13th and 14th of September, uh, we're going to do 12 hours. And usually when we say 12 hours, it is more than 12 hours. So, so be mentally prepared to be, have a super intense um, uh, uh, weekend. And, and, uh, and it, should, should, it can be the thing that unlocks algebra and it's a, so it's actually a very good thing to unlock. And so, looking forward to catching up with you guys. September 13th and 14th. Timing, we're going to do 13th theory revisit of algebra 5 to 9.30. Not just revisit, but kind of add one more layer to typically how we how we look at theory. And then workshop 9 to 6. Each time, each will be a set of four tests. Four tests followed by discussion. And this is like, this 10x, 100x language is there in every part. So, this is um, this is our way of uh, making sure that we are not out Gen z by, uh, by by you guys, right? So it, it, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. We've had a we put some part of the content for it, and it's actually very nice. We've made sure that we've covered the whole range that uh, the, the cat looks to test, 
um, and done it our style without compromising on uh, on first principles. It's not just a bag of tricks. We don't do bag of tricks. Bag of tricks are useless. So how can we rewire the way we think about some of these topics uh, and and build layers of uh, clarity on this? That's how we want to do it. It is it is going to be fun. It's going to be super intense. So if you're signing up for this, I would recommend that you plan ahead, read ahead, and, and take enough rest. Be mentally prepared to be pushed very hard for 12 hours over a two-day window. Looking forward to seeing you guys for it. Best wishes for you.